two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and the difference of the square is 320. Here, uh, the ratio between the two numbers is given, that is uh, 2 to 3. Okay, from the terms of the ratio 2 and 3, if I want to get the two numbers, I have to multiply the terms of the ratio by the same non-zero number, say x. So, if I multiply the first term of the ratio 2 by x, I am getting 2x. So, this 2x refers to the first number. And I multiply the second term of the ratio 3 by x, then I get 3x. So, 3x is the second number. So, now what I am going to do is, I am going to square each number. So, that is, I am going to square the first number 2x, then I will be getting 2x whole square, which becomes 2 square times x square, then we get 4x square. Now, I am going to square the second number, that is 3x whole square, it becomes 3 square times x square, which becomes 9x square. Okay, here the question says the difference of the squares is 320. That is, we have to find the difference of the squares of two numbers. So, uh, we can consider this is bigger and this is smaller. To get the difference, we have to subtract the smaller from bigger. So, I get 9x square negative 4x square. So, this gives you the difference of the squares of two numbers. According to the question, the difference of the squares of the numbers is equal to 320. Okay, now uh, I need to solve for x in this equation. Once I get the value of x, if it is multiplied by 2, I'll be getting the first number. If it is multiplied by 3, I'll be getting the second number. So let's solve for x in this equation. So the simplification of 9x square negative 4x square is 5x square is equal to 320. So I divide both sides by 5. So 5, 5 will cancel. 5 goes into 5 1 times. 5 goes into 32 6 times. And 6 times 5 is uh, 30, and we have 2 left over. We can take the 2 along with the next digit 0, then it becomes 20. 5 goes into 20 4 times. So I get x square is equal to 64. Okay, to get the value of x, I need to take square root on both sides. So when I take square root, square root, square root cancel out, x is equal to square root of 64 is 8. Okay, now I got the value of uh, value of x that is 8. Okay, now I'm going to plug in x is equal to 8 into this one, then it will become 2 times 8, that is equal to 16. Here I'm going to plug in x is equal to 8, then 3 times 8, which is 24. So the two numbers are 16 and 24. So the first number is 16, the second number is uh, 24, the two numbers are 16 and 24. The correct answer choice is option B.